Hey guys, it's Ro Santana, founder of Work Save and Best Entrepreneurs. I'm really excited about this video. I've been wanting to make this video for the longest, but for the past two days I was having certain issues with the camera and, and some personal things that I needed to take care of. But today is the day that I'm going to be able to do this amazing video. Well, before we even start, um, I wanted you guys to take a look to see if you guys see something different, something that I'm wearing. I think I gave it a hint there. So yeah, um, you guys know the the logo that you, some of you guys have seen it already. And I decided to go a step forward and actually uh, get a shirt with the logo. And this is the final product. Work, save, and best entrepreneurs. Um, I'm really excited about this. But now, stop with the promo and let's get with the video. I always get asked this particular question. Israel, how do you identify potential? When do you know when is a good time to buy or sell a stock? And I always tell them the same thing. There's two things that you need to take into account every time you take a trade. Support and resistance. In this video, I'm gonna make sure that I explain you the, the, first I need to define these terms, what support and resistance are, and then I'm gonna show you guys in my brokerage, how do I use them to identify potential and why these two things are so important when it comes to trading a stock. The first term that I'm going to define is support. What is support? Support is a very easy concept to understand. Support is a, the usual price that a stock drops before it goes back up. For instance, let's say a stock always is battling between $9.50 to $10. And we notice in the pattern of the stock that every time the stock, let's say, is at $9.70, let's say that we have noticed during the with the patterns that that every time the stock drops to nine dollars and fifty cents, it goes right back up. Whether it's to nine dollars and sixty cents, nine dollars and seventy five cents, or ten dollars. So Israel, what you are telling me that every time a stock, in this particular case, the stock that every time that goes to nine dollars and fifty cents goes back up, that means that this happens with every stock. No. Nothing in life is 100%. And the stock market is not a difference. It is not a special case. Support, it just help us identify a potential entry when we are planning to take a position. And when I'm, what I mean by taking a position, buying shares of a stock, when we are planning to invest in a particular stock. Support just gives us an idea on where it usually drops before it goes back up. And this way we can capitalize from it. So let's say we are trying to entry at nine dollars and sixty cents and we already identified the support that is nine fifty so we know with the patterns that every time it drops to nine fifty the possible there's a high possibility that the stock is going to go up so we plan uh, a strategy that as soon as it drops to nine dollars and fifty cents we're going to give it some time to let's say to until it goes to nine dollars and sixty cents for us to take a position that's the purpose of support. Now, the second concept that I'm going to define is resistance. The f good thing about this is that resistance is just the opposite of support. Support is the price that usually stock goes down before it goes back up. Whereas resistance is the price that usually a stock goes up before it goes back down. So let's use the same example of the stock that's battling between $9.50 to $10. We identify that this, this particular stock, every time it drops to $9.50, it goes back right up. Whether, whether it is $9.60, $9.70, $9.80. But we notice this, that every time it bounces from $9.50, every time, every time it peaks to $10, the stock goes right back down. So that means there's a resistance level. That's what we call and define resistance is the price a stock usually goes up before it goes back down it's a very simple concept so there's something to take into account about resistance that resistance helps us to identify when not to buy a particular stock let's say we are trying to invest in this stock that I keep going back to the one that's fighting between the price of nine dollars to ten dollars let's say we are trying to buy the stock at nine dollars and ninety cents correct because we have identified the support at 950 however we notice that in the pattern 
every time it goes to ten dollars it goes back down so I'm gonna ask you a question since we have identified that the pattern of the stock every time it has a resistance level of ten dollars do you think it would be a great investment to buy when it's already at ten dollars no right because it usually goes back down so it's gonna depreciate whatever investment you made so that's the importance and the great thing about resistance it helps you identify when not to buy a stock and when to get out when you have done your uh, technical analysis technical analysis is another thing that we are going to define in the coming videos but for now let's focus on support and resistance so now that I have explained you guys the concept of support and resistance and why it's so important for us to trade I'm going to do something even better now I'm going to take you guys to my brokerage account my thinkorswim platform and here I'm going to show you guys a good example of support and resistance so now that we understand the concepts of support and resistance now I want to take you guys from theory to practice and that's what I'm going to do now as of now I'm going to show you guys my screen and I'm going to use the brokerage that I use, my Thinkorswim platform, and let's let me show you guys how I identify support and resistance. This is my TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. This is the brokerage that I use. Uh, I'm not getting paid to promote them. This is just a brokerage that I use, and that is effective. And I just love every functionality that it has. It's a really amazing platform, and I really recommend it to anyone. If anyone has any questions after the video, let me know in the comments and I will gladly inform you about the benefits and the things that you need to know about this platform so let's get back to support and resistance so as I told you support is a price a stock usually goes down before it goes back up and resistance is the price that a stock goes up before it goes back down so let's identify support and resistance so now let me zoom in so since I already told you guys the concept I'm going to give you guys two or three seconds to see the support and resistance and then I'm going to come in and do it myself. Just look at the chart. I'm going to give you a couple more seconds. So look at the chart, the support and resistance and try to picture an idea. Okay, so now is my turn. So. If you was able to understand the concept, you would have known right away support is down and resistance is up. So here we go. So I'm going to identify the support of JNET. So as I can see in the chart, there's a clear support in this stock that every time it drops to $12.76, it usually goes back up see the, the the support is clearly is clear you can see it and even though this right here this pattern this this uh, these candlesticks that's how this uh, chart is called the green and the red these are candlesticks as you can see although they're not in the trend line the red line that I just made it's still visible that the likelihood it was almost there that it was going to drop to that price so as you can see twelve dollars and seventy five cents that was the that's the support and even though here is not at twelve dollars and seventy five cents, it's almost close to it. So you can still use it as a reference of a support. Now let's identify the resistance. So the resistance is the price the stock goes up before it goes back down. So as we pay attention, you can see the resistance right away. It's just right there in front of us. So let's make a trend line to make it more easy and visible to understand. So here we go. Okay, so here we can see that here we are able to identify the resistance. That every time the stock goes up to fourteen dollars and no fourteen dollars and twenty one cents, it usually goes back down. Now you might ask in Israel, but it's clearly visible that yes, it usually goes from fourteen dollars and twenty one cents down. But as of now, you can see here how it went, how it broke resistance. See. And this is what I told you guys earlier in the video that sometimes the resistance can be broken just the same way the support can be broken. So in this case, the price went, it broke resistance from $14.21 and it went to 
$12.56. So it broke the resistance. This, are, this is something very common. It's going to happen in different stocks. But however, you are able to see that we were able to identify the pattern of the stock thanks to the support and resistance. So now let's get a, bit of, a little bit more technical. As you can see here in the chart, here, right here, this is the current price. What we're looking at right now is a 180 day chart. So it shows you the past six months, uh, the progress of the stock, and it shows you how it has developed in the past six months. So as of now, right now here, and you can see the date here. You see the date here? When I show when I show the, the candlesticks here, it's gonna show the uh, the date. So here you can see that as of now it's at thirteen dollars and seventy nine cents. So which means it's really close to the resistance. So right now, if you were to invest, you would have to be very cautious to not go too crazy when it comes to invest because it's so close to the resistance. Now you can still make some profit, but at this point, you the uh, based on the analysis that we just did and the identification of, of the resistance, we need to be careful if you're trying to invest in this stock right now. I would probably wait for a pullback. I don't know, maybe to uh, thirteen dollars and thirty four cents, or maybe even lower, twelve dollars, to then try to make a profit from twelve to fourteen or thirteen dollars and thirty cents to fourteen dollars. To, to make a, a bigger margin of profit. So this is how we identify support and resistance. So now let me go back to the big screen. Make myself big. So I hope you guys find this video very useful. I try to make the definitions and the explanations as simple as possible. And if you have any questions at the end of this video, please comment down below and I'll promise to answer as soon as possible. Remember to see the links in the description. They have the links for the website of Journalist Kingdom, the Work Saving Best Entrepreneurs, my personal Instagram account. And hopefully you guys find value in this video. And see you guys soon.